All right, guys, so we are inside the beautiful world of Blender 3D, and here we're gonna be creating that amazing uh, 3D model which you saw in the intro. Now, the design for this 3D model is inspired by my fellow creator, Amrit Paul Singh. Uh, so yeah, a huge shout out to him. Okay, so let's begin, and let's actually just delete the default light and delete the default camera, and we are gonna be working with the default cube. Okay, so with this, we're gonna be making the face, so I'm just gonna go to front view, and let's actually scale it down slightly in, in the Z axis. So something like that should be good. Yeah, perfect. So uh, yeah, now what we want to do is that let's actually just make it um, scale it down in this axis as well, something like that. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be our face. This is going to be the front of our face. So the thing is, I want uh, to smooth this uh, cube, right? Now either we could um, just select this and go to the modifier menu, and we could select a um, subdivision surface, and that would do the job. For example, like if we increase the segments, and if we went to edit mode and we added loop cuts and stuff, but that's just gonna make it very complicated, and it's not gonna give us that great results either. Okay, the, the results are not gonna be accurate. Okay, uh, it's not gonna have an accurate amount of. Um, Accurate, accurate amount of smoothing from all sides. Okay, so we're not gonna use that. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete the subdivision surface. And with this cube selected, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go to edit mode, and we're gonna be using something known as bevel, okay? Now I'm pretty sure you're already fam familiar with bevel, but if you're not, then I'm just gonna be uh, telling you how it works in just a second. So first of all, let's go to the edge select mode by either pressing this button right here, or by pressing three, uh, sorry, by pressing two on your keyboard. And with this, what we can do is that we can like select all these edges, so just select one, and we can press A to select all the edges. So with all these edges selected, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to be pressing Control B on my keyboard, and I'm going to see that this dotted line is appearing. And if I move it further, you can see that we are adding a bevel. Now we can ma make it however big we want. I'm just going to make it somewhere like something like that. And right now you can see uh, if I left click my mouse button, you're going to see that we only have one segment, okay? But we want more of them. We want it to be smooth, okay? So I'm just going to control Z, undo it. And next, what we're going to be doing is that let's just do the bevel again. But this time, with this, uh, this much selected, I'm just going to move my scroll wheel up and that's going to add new uh, segments. So I'm just going to uh, <clears throat> set the segments to like 10. You can see on the bottom of the screen, uh, the segments are visible. So I'm just going to set it to 10. And the smoothing is going to be something like this. Yeah, that much should be good. Perfect. So now our cube is uh, ready. And what I'm going to do real quick is that uh, we can shade this smooth. So right now you can see that this has a lot of these sharp edges. So I'm just going to select it and I'm going to right click and shade smooth. And I'm going to see none of those are visible. Perfect. So next what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be creating the helmet. And for that, we're going to be using the same exact uh, cube um, <clears throat> so that we don't have to like um, smooth it again and again. So yeah, with this selected, I'm just going to press Shift D and I'm going to see that we have duplicated it and we can move it anywhere we want. However, I'm just going to right click my mouse button. Uh, so that's just going to drop it right where, exa where it was. So now you're going to see that we have two cubes, uh, cube and cube 01. Uh, so this one, I'm just going to scale it up slightly. And I'm going to move it back. Now I'm going to tell you the reason for moving it back in just a second. So I'm just going to go to the front view and I'm going to see that this is um, it. And I'm just going to scale it up something like that, probably. And I'm going to scale it up in the Z axis. So something like that. And I'm going to be moving it up. So I'm just going to scale it up slightly. A little more. Just perfect. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to scale it down, actually, just something like that should be good. Yeah, perfect. So now we have our helmet, and uh, the thing is, we want to cut this shape out from this shape, okay? So, uh, so basically, we can create a hole for this face. And by the way, just a reminder, save your project. Yeah, so coming back uh, to this, um, what we can do is that we can select this, and we can use a modifier called a Boolean modifier. Now, what a Boolean modifier does is that, let me just add it, and then I'm going to explain how it works. So I'm just going to select this, and I'm going to add a modifier, Boolean modifier, perfect. Now, <clears throat> the Boolean modifier has three options. One is intersect, the other is union, and the other is, the last one is difference. So what intersect does is that if you select this, it's only going to display the intersection of these two objects, okay? And what union does is that it's going to display both of the objects, and what difference does is that it's going to display the difference of two objects, right? So uh, basically, we're going to subtract this object from this object, okay? Perfect. <clears throat> so with this selected, with this in this uh, Boolean modifier, we're going to select an object which we want to subtract, okay? Uh, with this different set, by the way. And so we're just going to pick this eyedropper tool, and we're going to select this cube right here. And I'm going to see that it has been cut. The way we know that is because the shading has uh, has become slightly weird. So uh, to fix that, first of all, I'm just going to select this, 
and I'm gonna right click and shade flat. So we're gonna be shading it smooth after we apply the Boolean modifier. So yeah, uh, now that shading problem is fixed. And right now it has been, this uh, this object has been cut from that object. But the reason why we're, why we're not seeing it is because we uh, have not actually removed this object, right? Okay, <clears throat> so for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna apply this Boolean modifier by pressing this bot down button right here and apply. So now it's gonna be applied. And now if I move it away, you're gonna see that we have this hole. Perfect, cool. So I'm just gonna control Z, undo that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scale it down ever so slightly <clears throat> so that we actually know that there is a hole for that face. So now what we're gonna be doing is that let's actually move this behind for now so that it's not disturbing us. And we're gonna be adding a bevel to this edge as well. I'm just gonna select this, I'm gonna go to edit mode. And with this, all the edges are selected for now, but I'm gonna unselect all the edges. And I'm just gonna select one of these and I'm gonna press Alt and I'm just gonna press this, okay? And now what that's gonna do is that it's gonna, basically what it's gonna do is that it is going to select the whole edge loop, okay? So you can press uh, Alt and then you can press any edge to select the whole edge loop, okay? Now either we could um, select this edge and press Shift and select these individual edges, but that's gonna be very, very time consuming and it's gonna be very inefficient as well. So I'm just gonna press Alt and select it. And I'm gonna see that these bottom edges are not selected for some reason because uh, this edge loop has, uh, has ba basically been um, diverted or off to this side. So I'm just gonna press Shift and I'm gonna unselect this deselect that and I'm going to select these edges right here and I'm going to just complete my loop selection and perfect so now our whole edge loop is selected and with that selected what I'm going to do is I'm going to press ctrl b again on my keyboard so to bevel this I'm going to bevel it ever so slightly just slightly Something like that should be good. Now let's go back to our object mode and now you're gonna see that it, although it's not making a huge difference, it is uh, making it look quite good. So now once that's done, I'm just gonna right click it and shade smooth and that's gonna be perfect. Now let's move this face forward and I'm just gonna go to my side view and I'm gonna align it properly. Just so it's like extruding out ever so slightly. Yeah, that should be perfect, cool. So next up, we're gonna be working on the face, uh, yeah, the face itself. So we're gonna be adding the nose, the uh, the eyes and everything, okay? And for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first of all select um, uh, add and mesh, and I'm gonna select a UV sphere. Now this, what, what, what we're gonna be doing with this sphere is that we're gonna be creating the nose. And we're not gonna be worrying about the segments that much because it's gonna be very small uh, and we're gonna be shading it smooth anyway. So yeah, the default segments are perfect. I'm gonna move it forward, let's go to the side view. Let's align it, something like that. Perfect, and now let's obviously scale it down because it's way too large for a nose. Something like that should be good, probably. Actually, I'm just gonna scale it up slightly. Yeah, perfect. So now let's work on uh, the um, the eyes. So for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be selecting the nose, I'm gonna press Shift D, and we're just gonna be duplicating it. I just press right click, so to um, re reset the position. And I'm gonna be moving them something like that, moving the eye somewhere, somewhere like that. And, and now I'm gonna go to my scale tool, and I'm gonna scale it down in this axis, and in this axis as well, something like that. Perfect. So now uh, to make the other eye, we could either press Shift D, duplicate it, and just move it over. However, the problem with it, there are basically two problems with this approach. Okay, first of all, if I may, if I want if I want to make adjustments to this eye, or if I want to move it up and down, then we're going to have to do the same with the other one as well. Okay, and the second problem with this approach is that uh, the distance between the nose and the eyes are not going to be same. Like the distance from here to here is going to be slightly different than the distance from here to here, and we want that to be uh, accurate basically uh, to give it a more professional look. Okay, but by the way, just save your project. So for that, we're going to be using a modifier called a mirror modifier. Okay, so I'm just going to select this object and I'm going to go to add modifier, and we're going to be adding a mirror modifier. Perfect. So for this, now you're going to see that nothing is basically happening, and that's because we haven't really set a um, what do you call it a mirror object. Okay, so I'm just going to select this and I'm going to select the mirror object to this cube. Now the mirror object, what what it basically does is that it's the object on which your um uh, your uh, 3D, uh, your basically your your mesh is uh, mirrored onto. Okay, so we just set it to our face, perfect. And now you're gonna see that it is mirroring. However, it's mirroring in the uh, wrong axis. So you're gonna see that another one of uh, that eye is visible there. Uh, so we're gonna be uh, deselecting the x axis and we're gonna be selecting the y axis. Okay, and I'm gonna see that it's gonna be perfectly visible. Now I'm just gonna go to the side view and our eyes are not flushed with our face, so I'm just gonna flush them in. Perfect. 
And now I'm just gonna scale them up slightly, ever so slightly, yep, that's perfect. And apart from that, uh, yeah, let's work on uh, the lips and the eyebrows now. So for the lips and the eyebrows, what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be using a torus, okay? And so I'm just gonna add a torus, add a mesh, torus, perfect. Now, right now, if I move it forward, you're gonna see that it is basically a full torus, right? So I'm just gonna be uh, rotate. Actually, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be undoing this and I'm gonna be adding another torus so that we can actually work with the parameters. So I'm just gonna press this button right here, add torus. And now we're gonna be uh, basically decreasing the major radius and the minor radius as well. So something like that should be good. Yeah, that should be good, okay? So now I'm just gonna uh, bring it forward and I'm gonna see that this is a full torus. So first of all, I'm gonna rotate it in the um, Y axis. So 90 degrees and the way I rotate exactly 90 degrees is by holding control on my keyboard. So if I hold control, you're gonna see that it's gonna rotate in increments of five, which makes it really easy to rotate it exactly 90 degrees. So once it's done, uh, next up what we're gonna be doing is that we are going to be scaling it down, of course, and we're gonna be moving it down, something like that. Now the thing is we wanna basically get rid of half of this torus, right? Uh, actually, in fact, a little more than half, right? So what we're gonna be doing is that with, tor with this torus selected, we're gonna be going to edit mode, and here what we can do is that we can uh, select individual edges and we can delete them, perfect. So I'm just gonna, uh, first of all, let's go to extreme mode, otherwise it's not gonna select the edges on the other side. So I'm just gonna select something like, uh, something like that maybe. Yeah, uh, actually I'm just gonna select even more. So something like that. Yeah, perfect. So I'm just gonna select that and I'm gonna delete it, vertices. And I'm gonna see that we have the smile, perfect. But the problem with this is that if I uh, turn off the X-ray mode, you're gonna see that th this, these ends do not have faces, okay? So to fix that, what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be alt selecting this edge loop right here, and we're gonna be pressing shift and alt, and we're gonna be selecting this edge loop right here as well. So with these selected, I'm just gonna press F on my keyboard. So what's that? what that's gonna do is that it's gonna create a face, okay? And that's exactly what we want. But right now, another problem you're gonna be noticing is that it's very sharp and edgy, right? So to fix that, what we're gonna be doing is that we are, we are going to be adding a, um, what do you call it, a subdivision surface. So I'm just gonna go to add modifier, and I'm gonna add a subdivision surface. And with the selected, I'm just gonna increase the viewports because why not and uh, the levels to so something like let's say three and we're gonna be shading it smooth as well to make it perfect and now let's uh, I think it looks pretty good and I'm just gonna go to the side view and I'm gonna flush it in with the face yeah something like that should be good let me just decrease the size something like that should be good now for the eyebrows what I'm gonna do is that I actually I'm just gonna scale it down even more because why not um, yeah, so for the eyebrows, I'm just gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna move it up. And here we are going to be rotating this. So something like uh, 180 degrees should be good. But this we are gonna be decreasing the size even more. And actually we're gonna be scaling it up in this axis because to add some like variation. Uh, yeah, something like that should be good. Let me just move it up. Perfect. Now to add the other eyebrow, I'm gonna use another mirror modifier. So I'm just gonna select this. And we are going to be going to the add modifier menu, mirror modifier. Let's let's set the mirror object to this cube uh, because of uh, because uh, we're gonna be uh, duplicating this on uh, equally across this cube. And we're just gonna deselect the X axis and we're gonna be selecting the Y axis. And now you're gonna see that it's gonna look very, very good. Perfect. So apart from that, uh, I think our face is basically done. And I'm just gonna move it slightly there because I don't think it was aligned properly. Okay, yeah, so that is done. And let's actually now work on our ears. 